Lymphoma is a type of blood cancer which develops in the body's lymphatic system, or lymph nodes. There are two main types of lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma, also known as Hodgkin's disease, and NHL, short for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. These are biologically very different tumours, despite both being lymphomas. NHL, including Burkitt lymphoma, accounts for about half of all lymphomas in children, Hodgkin's disease the other half. The incidence of NHL increases and peaks in young school-aged children, whereas Hodgkin's disease is most commonly seen in teenagers. Hodgkin's lymphoma symptoms include a persistent, maybe lasting a few weeks, painless swelling of a single lymph gland, usually in the neck, armpit or groin. Cough or breathlessness can occur if the glands in the chest are affected. Fever, sweats, particularly at night, itching and weight loss. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma symptoms in children include, again, painless swelling of a single lymph gland, commonly in the neck. Cough or breathlessness can occur if the glands in the chest are affected. Stomach pains or stomach swelling if the abdominal lymph glands are affected. Fever and night sweats, tiredness, weight loss, or feeling full after only a small meal. The exact diagnosis will be confirmed by removing part or all of an affected lymph gland so that the cells can be examined in the laboratory. This is known as a biopsy and is usually carried out under general anaesthetic. Further tests such as x-rays, CT and MRI scans and blood tests are carried out to determine the exact size and position of the lymphoma and whether it's spread. This is known as staging. Hodgkin lymphoma can be defined in one of several stages, numbered one to four. The numbers simply mean the number of parts of the body or lymph nodes that have been affected. In addition, there's a letter A or B assigned to the number. A means you don't have any of the systemic symptoms such as itching, weight loss, etc. B means that you do have some of those symptoms. The main treatment for lymphoma in children is chemotherapy. Sometimes patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma will also require radiotherapy. The type and amount of treatment given depends on the stage of the disease at diagnosis and the response to chemotherapy seen on scans. Where chemotherapy is used, it usually will be given every few weeks for a number of months. Where radiotherapy is used, it's usually given for a few minutes each day over a period of a few weeks. Treatment for lymphoma generally lasts for around six months. Treatment for lymphoma often causes side effects. These will depend on the particular treatment being used and the part of the body being treated and may include hair loss, tiredness, nausea and vomiting, a reduced resistance to infection, bruising and bleeding, and gut and nutritional symptoms. A small number of children may develop late side effects, sometimes many years later, that are caused by their treatment for lymphoma. The main risks arise from the use of radiotherapy, which can impair growth and cause infertility. There's also a risk of underactive thyroid associated with irradiation to the neck. Both radiotherapy and chemotherapy have also been associated with heart and lung complications. There is an increased risk of second cancers in those who survive childhood cancer, thought to be associated 
with the various treatments used. The survival rate for lymphoma is high. Almost all children with this cancer can be cured. It's important to note that survival rates vary depending on the stage of the lymphoma. Occasionally, the cancer can recur. When this happens, it's called a relapse. Relapse occurs most likely as a result of a few of the original cancer cells surviving the treatment. Sometimes this is because cancer cells spread to other parts of the body and were too small to be detected during the follow-up immediately after treatment. Treatment of the relapse will vary and will be discussed with you as it may differ from the original course of treatment.